Hello, Noblesville. All right, uh, do our little uh, Wednesday recap here. Um, got a lot of things on the plan. So I'm gonna start with the uh, movements for the age group workout that you guys can do today. I don't think there's anything new here. What I will say is the, the senior workout that got sent out at the beginning of the week, there's a lot of new stuff on there. So I'm gonna have to make that second movement demo video for a lot of those movements. And I'll go through that workout more in detail when I make that video so that you can kind of have an understanding of how everything's going to flow there. Cause there's a lot of uh, different movements, new movements there. It's going to take a little bit of time to work all out, but for the age groupers uh, you've got your, your three sets of 10 scapular pushups. Uh, you've got prone TYA holds. So in the TYAs, when you have been kind of moving up and down this time, you're going to pinch up and hold and you're going to go uh, 20 seconds in each one of those positions for three rounds. You go, uh, six by six rounds of uh, push-ups. However you want to divvy those up, however much rest you want to take in between them. If you want to do six push-ups and then an hour later do six more and then an hour later do six more, however you want to do those, get those push-ups in today. And then you have the rotational plank that we've done the video for. So uh, three rounds of rotational plank. Uh, overall, that is, uh, that's kind of the main chunk of work for you guys um, if you know there is any aerobic work that you guys didn't get in over the last two days, this is a really great day for you guys to do that. Um, as I look up some of the other parts of the workout today, just kind of trying to take a look. Um, finisher wise, you've got some core, you've got hollow rocks. I'll put those in those uh, video demos, and you got some sit ups and reach and some candlesticks, just some normal core work. So you can hit some of that today. Um, I think today would be a good day for if. Uh, if you're going to do some stretching, if you're going to do some yoga, um, you know, kind of get the body opened up a little bit. All those things are going to be really, really great because you're going to hit some more moderate cardio and, and kind of a more aggressive cardio workout tomorrow. So uh, after, after some of the upper body focus stuff, even if you're just kind of thinking of recovery land, um, I think that's going to be really good. If you haven't gone and watched the Megan Dupay interview, make sure you go back and watch that. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of feedback. I'm seeing a lot of people watching that one. It's a it's a really awesome interview to see uh, everything that she talks about. And I think one of the most important things I want to reiterate from watching and talking to uh, Megan is, um, or at least the the thing that she said that really resonated with me that I think is really important for all age groups to hear is don't let this one thing that is swimming define you. Right. You know, she, she talks about how swimming is an important piece of your life. It's going to be an important piece of your life. It was an important piece of her life. But after everything that she's been through and her battle with cancer, looking back, she realized that it's very important to not let this define you because you're many other things than just a swimmer. You know, you're you're a uh, you're a child, you're a friend. You know, you have a family, you have hobbies, you might have other other activities that you do. Those things are important. And I think all of us at some point or the other have. Uh, have moments where you realize that. And I know uh, some of us have moments where you realize maybe you need that. So, you know, I talk a lot with the swimmers that I work with about balance and having that balance and having other things to dive into. Something I talk to other coaches about. I have a lot of really good coaching friends that don't have outlets outside of coaching and outside of swimming. And, you know, when you get into a situation where you're told, hey, you can't practice and you're two months in, and uh, you're kind of kind of losing your mind, you know, that's where having those other things and not being defined by one thing is really important. So I think that was just an amazing message from Megan. And if you have not gone and watched that video yet, go back and watch it. Uh, it is going to be very cool. Next week, next week's athlete interview is going to be really, really interesting. Um, it is with a swimmer that, uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a hint now, um, it is with a swimmer that was not in the United States when we filmed it. So the, the audio and the, um, and the video are a little out of sync because of the, the connection that we had. But uh, it, I'll give you a little teaser now and just let you know that there's a, a very unique uh, athlete interview that we have coming up next Monday. So uh, look forward to that. Um, until then, I will, uh, I will definitely be talking or talking with you guys tomorrow. Some of you guys, you know, I'll be posting that, um, that workout demonstration here in a little bit. I've got a busy day with a lot of meetings on these Zooms, so uh, I'm going to be trying to work in a lot of things in between meetings and, uh, and getting these videos done. So uh, I will see you guys later. Have a great day.